Today we're going to talk about how to drill a push button hole. There are two popular size push buttons, a 22 millimeter and a 30 millimeter. Please get the correct size drill bit for the hole. There are four main ways to drill a push button hole, three of which I recommend. First we have a step bit which is capable of drilling a hole and then incrementally stepping out to the right size. I use these on job sites quite a bit. The main reason is I'm already carrying the kitchen sink to the job site so it allows me to carry one compact item to do multiple hole sizes. Like with most cutting tools, buy a good one. If you buy a cheap one, it'll only last a few holes. If you buy a good one, you can get hundreds of holes out of it. The main key is not to run the drill bit any faster than you need to to drill the hole. This keeps the heat down and the drill bit sharp. The next method is the knockout. Most people are shocked to find out that I almost never use knockouts. Some weeks I drill hundreds of push button holes, but I've probably used a knockout twice in the last year. On top of that, I don't even own a hydraulic knockout set, though I do use a socket connected to a drill in place of a ratchet. A knockout is made of three pieces. A draw stud, which is pretty much a bolt with a bearing on top of it, a die, and a punch. You drill a hole large enough for the draw stud to go through, then you put the die on the draw stud and you insert it through the hole in your panel and screw the punch on the other side of it. Then you continue screwing it until the hole is finished. The next method is a hole saw. I never use this method unless I get stranded on a job site and have to borrow someone's. The issue of this is it requires a perfectly straight drill bit in order to drill a proper size hole. So if you have a perfectly straight drill bit and a 7 8 drill bit, you'll get a 7 8 hole. But if it's been a 16th of an inch and you have a 7 8 hole saw, then it'll wobble and it'll drill a 1 inch hole. Then the slug gets stuck in the end of the hole saw and you have to pry it out with a screwdriver. Instead of a hole saw, I use a hole cutter. It's nearly the same thing, but it's a whole lot more beefy. It has a center drill to get the hole started and carbide teeth to cut a fast move hole. And there's even a spring here to push the slug off once the hole is drilled. It takes about three to five seconds to drill through mild steel and maybe 10 seconds to drill through stainless steel. Plus it cuts well through fiberglass. I've used a lot of different brand hole cutters and I can tell you my favorite is Ideal. In fact, they should be giving me some samples for saying that. If you think you have a better one, send me your samples and I'll check it out. To show you how it works, we're going to drill a hole into this fiberglass panel because it presents a few issues that steel does not. Make sure you measure twice because there's nothing worse than having holes that aren't in line. Place the center drill right in the middle of your mark. It has a very sharp point so holes are always accurately drilled. Right as it's breaking through, ease up and back up on the RPM. This allows the carbide cutter to start cutting evenly. Don't run the cutter fast enough to build up heat. The faster you run it, the more heat it will build and the sooner it will dull. Now if this were a steel panel, we would continue through, but fiberglass is bad about splintering as the cutter breaks through. To prevent this, stop drilling, open up the door, and begin drilling on the inside and finish cutting from there. This way you have a sharp edge on this side and we also have a sharp edge on this side. Once it breaks through, there's a flange that prevents it from going all the way into the panel and damaging internal components. The spring pushed the slug off of the cutter so it's ready to drill the next hole. Also note for people with fiberglass panels, usually we put a vacuum right beside of it while we're drilling to catch all of these shavings. But didn't this time so you could hear this video.